What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to properly set up a TikTok ad conversion campaign. I'm going to be setting this up for a client, so I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. So let's get right into it. As you can see here, we are in the TikTok ad manager at the dashboard level. What we're going to do is actually click up here on campaign. And now that we're here, all we have to do is click on create. So for those of y'all that don't understand how this is structured, it's basically a three tier system. You have the campaign level, the ad group level, and the ad itself, which would be the creative level. Uh, right now at the campaign level, we have five different advertising objectives. We have reach, traffic, app installs, video views, and conversions. For this specific campaign, I'm gonna be optimizing for conversions. One thing that I do suggest is keeping your naming as cleanly as possible. Um, this is going to help you understand what campaign, which campaign is which and which ad group is which. And I'll give you some suggestions on best practices on how to actually label those here in a second. I'm not going to be split testing at this level right here. Uh, the reason being is because I'm going to be using automated creative optimization for this, which essentially uh, builds out an endless amount of ads for me instead of me having to do it manually. And it's to my understanding, if I do a manual split test here, I can only use one ad in each split in each ad group. So that's not something that I want. I'm just gonna be doing that manually uh, down the line and I'll show you how I do that. And budget, we're gonna be setting that at the ad group level. Click continue. Awesome. So as you can tell, we have a really shabby ad group name. I'm going to leave that for the time being. Uh, when I actually get further down the line, I'll come back and I'll edit that and I'll show you why. But let's talk about placements. When it comes to placements, I do suggest that you untoggle everything except for TikTok specifically, because as you can see right here, right off the bat, uh, Vigo, I'm going to go ahead and zoom this in. Why is that at 80? Oh my. Okay, uh, Vigo is only available in India, Hello is in India as well, and Pangol is in Japan, Korea, and Taiwan. So those aren't countries that I'm looking to target for this specifically. Uh, I'll give you a little bit more information about what this product is here in a second, or just right now. So essentially, <laughs> what I'm looking to advertise is a um, I'm sending people to an opt-in page, and I'm trying to capture their name and email. Uh, the reason being is simply because I'm, it's, it's a freemium model. It's a Chrome extension that helps college kids or kids transitioning into college better apply for colleges and get into better colleges. So that's sort of the demo that I'm going after. And that's just the model of their business. Now, that being said, we have to select our TikTok pixel. For those of y'all that don't know what a TikTok pixel is, very simply put, it allows you to track different events and conversions on your site. If you don't have this installed yet, I made a separate video on that and I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below in the description. Definitely check that video out beforehand. Make sure that that's properly installed because without that, you won't be able to track your campaigns. You won't be able to track the conversions on your campaigns. And essentially you're just uh, throwing stuff up against the wall and seeing if it sticks. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. And just a brief explanation as to how these events are set up. It's a two-step process. So one would be the page view, which is this link, the opt-in form. And then the second one is the form submission. So the form submission takes them to like a thank you page. And whenever they actually land on that thank you page, this event is triggered specifically. So we're gonna optimize for the form submission because that's what we want. Name. Just go ahead and name it whatever your business name is. Um, very simple. One thing to note, you do not need a TikTok account to advertise on TikTok. You just need a TikTok ad account. It's not like Instagram or Facebook or anything like that. Go ahead and upload a profile image. Same thing, just a profile picture that represents your business. Open that. Awesome. Now category, these next two things are really to allow TikTok to further understand what your product represents, what your service represents and who you're actually trying to target. So we're gonna try and be as specific as possible as to what uh, this product does. So let's go ahead and go here to education and training. And again, this is gonna be totally contextual to the nature of your business, what you're selling, what you're offering. 
all that stuff. So just keep that in mind. But for this, I'm going to go ahead and select university education. And when it comes to ad tags, one thing that I do encourage y'all to do is just test guys, like straight up test. Say for example, if you're coming from Facebook and you're treating ad tags as if they were interests to target, um, one thing that you could do is independent variable testing amongst ad groups where essentially in this ad group, I test out school, right? As an ad tag. And then in the next ad group, I test out the, I guess you can call like ad tag or keyword student or college or university, right? But for this uh, specific campaign, I'm just gonna go ahead and clump them all together. You can insert up to 20. Uh, again, just if you wanna insert 20, by all means go for it. The more descriptive you can be, the better. Or if you wanna actually test out that uh, sort of like ad tag by separate ad groups, feel free to do so too, as long as that's within your budget because it is a $20 minimum uh, within each ad group. So just keep that in mind. University, uh, college, education, uh, students. All right, that should suffice for now. User comments, go ahead and leave those on. Uh, essentially, if you're familiar with how the sort of ad bidding system works, it's heavily reliant on uh, your creative score. So basically what that is, is based off of the click-through rates, uh, video watch times on your creatives itself, uh, user engagement and all that fun stuff, it will rank it higher uh, in regards to the thousands of other people that are competing competing for that same bid. So long story short, the better performing creative, uh, the lower like CPCs you're gonna get, uh, the higher conversion rates, and just the cheaper your entire campaign is gonna turn out to be, and it's just gonna be more effective. Now, due to the bare bones nature of the TikTok ad manager right now, I do suggest like going hard on your creative, making sure that it's native to TikTok and just making sure that it's representative of what you want to offer in a very fun and TikTok native way. So definitely leave that on as well as video downloads, unless you have a specific reason why you wouldn't. So automated creative optimization. If you're coming from Facebook, this is known essentially as dynamic creative. Essentially what this does, and I'm going to go ahead and toggle it for this campaign. What this does is it allows you to, <coughs> pardon me, it allows you to dump in different creative assets. Let's say, for example, three videos, three captions, and three CTAs. And what you do is it's essentially just going to create an ad based off of each and every one of those variations instead of you having to do it manually. So definitely something I recommend. Uh, check it out. And if you don't like it, don't use it. <laughs> All right, audiences. Audiences are tricky on TikTok. The reason being is if you try to import a custom audience, let's say an email list, for example, it asks you for a device identifier. Um, what that is essentially, it's sort of like a device number. It seems to favor the mobile app world a little bit more right now. Uh, I'm not sure when you'll be able to actually import just a straight up email list like on other platforms. But until then, you're going to be heavily reliant on sending traffic. Uh, to your site and retargeting people based off of pixel events. So for now, since this is top of funnel, uh, an initial campaign setup, we're not gonna mess around with that. Location, leave it as is. Gender, no limit. I'm gonna go ahead and select 18 through 24. Um, let's see, language is no limit and interest categories. So when it comes to interest categories, you're gonna wanna be as selective as possible and make sure that it aligns with what your business represents. For this, I'm gonna go ahead and select education. Another sort of like interest, if you start to snoop around, you can see something to refine it. Again, we're promoting a Chrome extension here. So potentially if we go to apps, selecting tools, that could be a good idea to pair with it. Something to test. Uh, I'll let y'all know how that works out for me. But you can do independent, independent testing as well. If you don't feel, if you wanna like group them up separately, completely up to you just Remember, you can't necessarily, depending on your budget, that's going to, that's what's going to give you the flexibility of the targeting and the testing amongst your different ad groups. Device, I'm not going to mess around with that. And budget, like I had mentioned in this video, you do have a $20 uh, minimum budget at the ad group level, something to keep in mind. Now, when it comes to uh, cost per click, 
it's one best practice that TikTok recommends is for you to actually uh, 20x your cost per click to your daily budget at the ad group level. So say, for example, if your cost per click bid is at $2, uh, insert $40 at the ad group level. If it's $1, $20, etc. right? But a minimum of 20 is what they suggest. And optimization goal. So let me tell you something real quick just to save you the trouble. If you don't optimize for conversions on a conversion campaign, if you actually go back to the dashboard, it's not going to track your conversions. Uh, it's like as a conversion rate. Let me show you real quick what I mean by that. Uh, so if I go here, just so that you aren't scratching your head, like let's say hypothetically you optimize for traffic for clicks right here. What's going to end up happening is when you actually go to the dashboard, crap, when you go to the, the dashboard right here, what you're going to see is you're going to see a 0% conversion rate, which is not accurate. It's, it's something that I've had to reference within the pixel events. So just keep that in mind whenever you're optimizing for conversions and you want to see actual conversions on your dashboard, make sure that you are uh, bidding for a conversion and not for a click. Now you can optimize, you have two options here. You can optimize for clicks at the learning phase or for conversions at the learning phase. So if you were to do click, for example, you have to select both the bid at the click like what you believe to be a good click. And based off of the other campaigns that I had initially ran uh, with these same interests, I have a 20 cent uh, cost per click. No, not $20. I have around like a 20 cent uh, cost per click. So I'm just going to go ahead and be generous with that and do a uh, 25 cent. And what I'm going to do here at the bid level, I'm going to assume a one to four conversion and I'm just going to call it a dollar, right? Oftentimes it's gonna suggest a minimum bid for the conversion. Now keep in mind, I'm not really paying attention to that specifically because it is a freebie. There's no monetary exchange here. So at the same time, I think it should be a lot lower than the $2.66 mark. Uh, we'll have to see. It's one of those things that you really just have to monitor and be on your toes day to day, make sure that your ads are performing properly and also test. Like maybe I'll make a separate ad group uh, that goes hand in hand with this, where essentially I'm either testing a uh, higher cost per click, right? A, a click bid and uh, maybe a higher uh, conversion bid, depending on how this is performing, if it's underperforming. Um, I'll just have to see, and that's something that you have to assess over time. Now, UTMs, I'm not gonna mess around with anything like that. Let's go ahead, let's go to the fun part, guys. Let's go to the ad level. So. I already have my creatives made for this campaign. I'm just going to go ahead and dump them in there. And I'm going to give you a visual of what that uh, automated creative optimization looks like. So as you can see right here, we have four different titles. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy from the other campaigns real quick. But as you can see here, we have four different ones. What I'm going to do is have two different text variations and two different CTAs just to get a good feel for what's working and what's not. Again, guys, the name of the game here is casting out a wide net. And over time, over the first couple of days, understanding what's converting and what's not, and um, making assessments, cutting the necessary ads. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this here. So I'm consistent, cool. Another uh, key tip on this, you can't use emojis, unfortunately. I know a lot of people are going to be bummed out about not being able to use emojis. I'm not sure why. I'm going to do a little bit of research on that. Maybe it's one of those um, copyright that I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know if emojis are free use. Interesting, though. Might make a TikTok about that. All right, so as you can see here, we have all our creative assets in line. What I'm going to do is uh, just go ahead and submit. One thing actually that I forgot to do, I just remembered, is changing the name of my ad group. So what I'm gonna name this is specifically so that I'm able to know which ad group is which. 
basically my initial strategy here is to hone down on what my proper bidding is. Once I understand what the right bid is, I'll get uh, fancy with different like interests targeting. I'll play around with the ad tags, uh, test ad tags against each other, see what see what's working best and performing best. But right now my primary objective is to figure out what is converting in regards to uh, my bidding. Cause I think that's gonna be the tricky thing about uh, TikTok ads specifically. So I'm gonna call this CPC 25 and I'm going to call it uh, I'm going to call it 25 slash one. All right, cool. So that tells me essentially just use whatever like shorthand you understand. But basically what I'm saying is I'm going for a 25 cent click and I'm going for a $1 conversion. I'm trying to stay as tidy as possible with that. Are you kidding me, bro? All right, let's do this again real quick. Learn from my mistakes, guys. All right, here we go again. Because I want to show you what ACO ends up looking like. Copy. Paste. Cool. Good to go. And we're ready to hit submit. Woohoo. Let's do it. All right, so as you can see, all these beautiful, high converting, awesome TikTok ads have been made for me simply because I'm using automated creative optimization. Uh, all these that are in review right now are variations based off of all the creative elements that I dumped into there. One thing that you can do as well is if you go back to the campaign level, since I have multiple campaigns here, what I do is all right, go here. And all I would have to do to run a test campaign against this would be to copy, duplicate, and just change whatever variables I'm looking to change. So like I had mentioned previously, my primary objective right now since it's super top of funnel. I'm trying to hone down on my bidding numbers. So one thing that I could do here is go a little higher and call it a 50 cent, which is really high for TikTok in my opinion, but we'll just see how that performs against the 25 cent one. And let's call this a one. Uh, uh, hmm. I guess in terms of percentages, yeah, let's call it a 150. So I'm gonna go back up here. 50 cent. And 1.5. Go ahead. Click next. And all my creatives are in there just like the other one. All I have to do is hit submit. And we're good to go. As easy as that. Anyways, guys, that pretty much sums it up for this video um, in regards to how to set up a conversion campaign. Keep in mind that your conversion bids are going to be very different to uh, the conversion bids that I placed in this video specifically. The reason being is you're probably not going after the same product that I'm, I'm sort of promoting. Uh, your product probably has a monetary exchange if you're doing e-commerce. There's just so many different variables. I'm just trying to show you insight on what I believe to be best practices on TikTok, on the TikTok ad platform right now. And hopefully you find uh, success on the platform. I'm really excited to see where this uh, platform grows into. I think it's gonna be huge in the next two, three, four years. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. If you're interested in actually working with us, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below to our website so you can get a little bit more information. And if you want to pull the trigger on that, uh, by all means, just submit a form and we'll, we'll be in contact. Other than that, guys, uh, subscribe if you found value, of course. And uh, until next time, peace.